welcome back to another video here upon the Yoli YouTube channel. And welcome back to another installment in the Ranking Songs on Classic Album Series. This is the program where I take a classic rock or metal album and I rank all these songs off of it. And today we are going to be looking at possibly the best album from this band. It's definitely my personal favorite and that is Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band from the Beatles. One of the most influential and impactful and important rock albums ever. So of course, tons of fun going back and listening to this classic and making my ranking. So, with all the bullshit out of the way, let's get straight into it. So, there are 13 songs off of Sgt. Pepper's. And out of the 13, I would say 4 of them are songs I really don't care for just a whole lot and wouldn't really miss if they were off the album. A few of them I have come around to liking a lot more than I used to. I used to hate all four of these songs. Now I've come around to a few, but if I still had the uh, choice in the matter, I would definitely cut them off. And my least favorite song off of Sgt. Pepper's has always been the 11 track off the album, Good Morning, Good Morning. I just never really got this song at all. It's always been one of my least favorite Beatles tunes ever since I first heard it. And it just does nothing for me. I don't get the point of it at all. And I would easily cut Good Morning, Good Morning off of this album. So it is going to be at the bottom at my number 13. So, coming in at number 12 is going to be Within You, Without You. Well, look who it is. It's Delta Dawn, always coming in like a freight train to interrupt my YouTube videos. You know, Delta, I'm starting to think if you were a track off Sgt. Pepper's, I cut you out very easily so you wouldn't interrupt. But anyhow, Within You, Without You, you know, another song just like Good Morning, Good Morning, you know, don't really care for it a whole lot and would cut it easily. I do like this one just a little bit more than I remember used to. I remember absolutely hating this one. I don't absolutely hate it anymore the way I do with Good Morning, Good Morning, but still a song that is obviously one of the weaker tracks off of this album. So Within You, Without You, that is going to be at my number 12. And now we're at number 11, definitely one of the least popular songs off of this album and the Beatles discography as a whole, I feel like, and that is Being For The Benefit Of Mr. Kite. These bottom few songs have obnoxious titles that I do not like saying at all because they're overly long, and Being For The Benefit Of Mr. Kite, I have no clue what the title is supposed to mean or what the song's supposed to be about. Just like with my number 12, I like this one just a little bit more than I remember, but, you know, in most cases, I still skip it every time I listen to the album. Of course, for this video, I had to listen to it start to finish so I can get my full uh, in-view thoughts of this album and every song off of it, but this one always been one of my least favorites and a lot of people's least favorites. So, being for the benefit of Mr. Kite is going to be number 11. I used to say there were three tracks that I really didn't care for off the Sgt. Peppers. I always forgot about this next one, which would add up to it being four. And that is going to be the 12th song off of the album, second to last. And that is the reprise of the title track, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. This is pretty much a shorter version of the title track, pretty much repeating the chorus for almost the whole thing. Which, of course, that chorus and the title track as a whole is really cool. But there really does not need to be a reprise of it for this album, in my personal opinion. And you probably could cut this one before my bottom three. But I like the chorus of Sgt. Pepper's and I like the reprise a little bit more than I do the bottom three. Which really show how not good of a songs the bottom three are if I rank them lower than a reprise. Because usually I would rank a reprise at the very bottom in my last spot but i like it just a little bit more than my bottom three and the sergeant pepper's reprise is going to be my number 10. as far as the rest of the album goes the other nine songs are some of my absolute favorite beatles songs i love all of these songs and if Sgt. Pepper's were just these nine songs, I would think this is an absolutely perfect album full of great, great stuff. But it is still an album full of great, great stuff. Just a couple tracks I don't care for. But coming in at my number nine is going to be the last song off of the album, A Day in the Life. I know this might be a little bit of a controversial pick because this is absolutely loved by many, many Beatles fans out there. I love this song too. It's just my least favorite out of the next nine we're going to be talking about. I think it's a fantastic song with great melodies, great instrumentation, just showcases the Beatles' talents for sure. 
It just happens to be my least favorite and doesn't move me as much as the next eight songs we are going to be talking about. But of course, a legendary and iconic Beatles song for very good reason and probably my favorite Beatles album closer too. So with Day in the Life, that is going to be my number nine. Coming in at my number 8 is going to be the title track for this album, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Other than the obnoxiously long title, I think this is a fantastic song and obviously fantastic album. Like I said in the reprise, one of my favorite Beatles choruses is the one in this song, you know, where Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. We hope you enjoy the show. Very fun to sing along to. The melodies throughout the verses are great. Love the guitar playing on this particular song. Just overall a fantastic title track in general and a fantastic Beatles song for sure. It is going to be at my number eight. The very first uh, time I listened to this album start to finish, maybe five years ago as of filming this or what have you, didn't really care for this one just a whole lot, but I've really grown to love this song as time has gone on, and it is going to be my number seven, and that is She's Leaving Home, which is the sixth track off the album. This was based off a true story for those who don't know, because I believe Paul McCartney read in the newspaper about a little girl running away from home, so hence She's Leaving Home. Just a great song full of great lyrics, great melodies that get stuck in your head. I love the instrumentation of this song. Just this album as a whole has tons of great instrumentation because at this point of the Beatles' career, they were experimenting with tons and tons of unique, really cool stuff, especially on this one. But She's Leaving Home, like I said, great lyrics, great melodies, great instrumentation, just everything you want in an awesome Beatles song in one place. So She's Leaving Home, and that is going to be at my number seven. And now we are at number six, and I'm going with the fifth track off the album, Fixing a Hole. One of the most catchy songs off of this album, and you know, the more I think about it, a lot of the songs off of Sgt. Pepper's are very, very catchy and very memorable. They just get you in a great mood, get you singing along, and just rocking out. And if I recall correctly, a fact I read about this album is that it didn't have a number one single or any single on the Billboard 200, something to that degree. But I'm sure y'all could correct me down in the comments below if I'm wrong on that. And it just baffles me if that is a true fact that I read why there wouldn't be a top single since all of these songs are so catchy, so memorable, especially Fixing a Hole. One of the best melodies off of here for sure. Just a song that's very, very fun and always puts me in a good mood every time I listen to it. So Fixing a Hole, that is going to be my number six. So now we are at number five, the top five songs of the Sgt. Peppers. My number five is pretty much the same thoughts as my thoughts on She's Leaving Home. This is one I initially didn't really care for just a whole lot. But as time goes on, it's become one of my favorites off the album, obviously, and that is Lovely Rita. Especially this last listen of the album, I've really liked this one a lot more than I initially thought. When I did my Beatles discography uh, review earlier this year, I liked this song whenever I uh, listened to that album for that review video. But the last time I listened to it for this video, I just really, really loved it quite a bit. Just an awesome song full of great melodies. Always puts me in a good mood, especially going forth. It's just an overall banger. So lovely Rita, that is going to be my number five. My number four is probably the most popular song off of the album, and it is one that everybody knows, Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. Possibly the catchiest chorus off of this album, you know, Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. I'm a terrible, terrible singer, but y'all get the point. You know, it's one of the most popular Beatles songs for very good reason. I believe it's in their top five on Spotify or top ten. Something around there. I'll have to go back and look at the Spotify uh, stats for the Beatles. But overall, it's just an awesome, awesome song. Puts me in a great mood. Always been a big standout off of this album when I first listened to it. It's the third track off the album. And, you know, definitely gets this album off to a great start. So Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds, that is going to be my number four. My top three off of Sgt. Peppers have always pretty much been set in stone and probably always will be. Maybe unless songs like She's Leaving Home or Lovely Rita start to climb up the list a little bit more since I'm digging those ones a lot. But for now, my number three is going to be the fourth track off the album, Getting Better. It's getting better all the time. Another very, very catchy song. 
you know, since Fixing a Hole comes after this, I always listen to both of them for sure. If I'm listening to one or the other, I always go and listen to the other. Because both of them are just so catchy songs, great, great melodies, and definitely showcases the Beatles songwriting for sure. Because in the Beatles, you had tons and tons of talent. One of the best bands ever, and one of the best genius songwriting bands, in my opinion. They just had so many awesome songs that are so memorable in just a short amount of time. Another band that comes to mind when I think of it is Creedence Clearwater Revival. Tons of great songwriting from that band. The Beatles, obviously, uh, legendary stuff right here. And Getting Better is definitely a legendary song at my number three. Number two might actually be the second most popular song off of the album. It's definitely tough to say since there's tons of classics off of here. But for now, with a little help from my friends, it's going to be my number two. Everybody knows the chorus of the song. I get by with a little help from my friends. Just awesome stuff. Very, very catchy stuff. You know, this album kicked off to a great start with the title track, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Then you transition into this song, which is the second one off of the album, and you're just in for a roller coaster ride because this album is just awesome, awesome stuff. With a little help from my friends, obviously one of my favorites in the big standouts off of here, it is going to be at my number two. My number one, I feel like, has always been my favorite song off of Sgt. Pepper's. Definitely a little bit underrated compared to some of the other bigger hits, in my opinion. But it's easily within my top five favorite Beatles songs, for sure. And that is When I'm 64, which is the ninth track off the album. What I always find interesting about this song is this is one of the Beatles songs I could think of that does actually not have any guitar in it. I believe it's a saxophone or a clarinet, something like that that uh plays the main melody line and it's just a catchy melody line i really love the lyrics to the song the melodies the vocal performance everything about this song is just fantastic it's always been a big beatles favorite of mine ever since i first heard it and probably always will be so when i'm 64 that is going to crack in at my number one so there's going to be all 13 songs ranked off as sergeant pepper's only hearts club band what do you think, Delta? Do you think my ranking is pretty good? Because I'm pretty happy with it thus far. But I'm sure many of you Beatles fans watching have a very different ranking of all of these songs, and I would like to see yours down in the comments below. Be sure to do that if you're a big fan of Sgt. Pepper's like I am. And if y'all dug this video here upon the old YouTube channel, please consider subscribing and also consider giving me a follower over y'all there on the Instagram. I would highly appreciate the support quite a bit, and I got a lot more wicked shit coming out on both of them. So, once you're done watching, blast some Sgt. Peppers to make your day a wicked one, and then go out and kick some ass!